I think the uh, first half of this season can almost be split into two halves again. Uh, first five races and the second five races. And uh, I'm very pleased, particularly with the second five races, because um, we've started to pick up some momentum, started to pick up some strength. Uh, we've won three of the last five races, and we're starting to convert the pole positions into, uh, into race results. They're not uh, it's far from perfect. We've still got a lot to do. But um, I think the momentum we've got uh, going into the second half of the season is really strong. I think, um, yeah, it's our big challenge to maintain that. And a, and a tough challenge with the demands of next season as well. So balancing those two things out is going to be the uh, tricky thing. But the team has a great spirit at the moment. And um, I know the things which are coming through on the technical front. And our hit rate has been pretty good on, on new technical innovations this year. Things we've brought to the track have generally worked. And uh, we've got some things coming up in the next few races, which could give us that extra impetus, that extra momentum to take us through the second half of the year. A lot of the races are what we call flyaways, where we're a long way away from base. And um, you tend not to get quite so much uh, development going on in the second half. And also with everybody mindful of uh, what a challenge next year will be. I don't think there's going to be huge innovations. Uh, for the second half of the season, so where we are is well placed. I think when a, a, a driver of Lewis's calibre joins a team, um, you know, obviously massive expectation, but every driver takes a little while to settle in, to understand all the nuances of a team, understand how to work with the engineers, um, how to press the right buttons, and I mean within the team, not just on the steering wheel. So uh, he needs to understand how the team functions, and we need to understand how he functions. We need to understand you know, the level of message he's giving us uh, and how important it is. Um, as all drivers, all, all people are different. Uh, so it's, it's taken a little while, but I see some great signs, uh, and particularly the last few races, which have been very, very good. And um, Again, another thing that's picking up momentum and starting to move in the right direction. So, yeah, we, we honestly don't know where the limit limit is because uh, you know, we're on a journey here with with Lewis and um, don't know where the limits are. Um, we're always worried about reliability. It's always very high in our list of concerns because. You don't finish a race, you don't score points. And it's been uh, frustrating that, that uh, we've had problems with the car and doubly frustrating, I'm sure, for Nico. They've occurred all on his car. We had two chassis problems earlier in the year. Uh, we stabilised and then we had an engine failure at the last race. And that was a very unusual failure. We've not had an engine failure since, I think, 2008. So um, we've, um, and I say that as Mercedes, um, we've... We're investigating the, the recent failure. I say it was very unusual. We don't know what's happened. Um, but reliability is a critical thing for all Formula 1 teams, and we're always endeavouring to improve it, to improve the systems, to improve the quality control, improve our inspection, imp improve our review process. And you just go through this loop all the time of you know, getting to a level and then deciding how you can improve it. And we're not good enough yet, but priority for the team and everybody's working or making a massive effort to improve it and not just trying to work harder, but we're trying to work more intelligently as well.